Hey guys, so what a day. I got out of work early and I thought, yay, I can get the rabbits where they need to go earlier. I can get Brinley where she needs to go earlier. But did that happen? No, because each person that I contacted didn't contact me back right away. And I was not about to go to each of their houses to have nobody there. So I waited um, for people to contact me back. It was a big undertaking to take the rabbits because I had to collapse their X-Pen, put them in a carrier, um, gather like their litter and their hay and their toys and just lots and lots of stuff and bring it over. So that transition took a while because then once I brought them over there, then I was um, setting them back up, letting her know what it is that she needed to do. Um, I'm really not concerned about them. Brinley, after that, I took her out um, to the place that she was staying, and I'm really not concerned about her either. I was sad um, to leave, I was sad to leave the rabbits and Brinley. The rabbits really have no clue that I left you know they're just like oh we're in here there's hay yay um, whereas Brindley was like why are you leaving without me so that's heartbreaking um, but I wasn't done with animal transportation until after 10 o'clock this evening um, and then I'm doing last-minute packing and stuff and one of my Beta sorority girls seems to be ill. Um, wrong time to be ill, I can tell you this much. It's Gamma, my white beta girl. Um, she didn't eat when the other ones ate when I fed them. Normally she'd be right there with everybody else, but she did not eat anything. And she just seems to be breathing harder. And uh, upon closer inspection, when she came to the front of the tank, her face seems to be a little bit fuzzy. Um, I put some medicine in the tank. I really don't expect for her to make it through. I expect to come back from vacation to her no longer being there. Um, my stepdaughter is staying behind. She does not have her passport, so I'm hope I'm gonna ask and hopefully she will be willing to check in every day because if she dies within the next couple of days. I don't want her floating in there dead until we get back. So I'm hoping that she will be willing to check in on them um, every day just to see if she can see Gamma, if, if Gamma died or not, and if she died to please take her out. Um, of course it happens because she wasn't sick yesterday and if she was sick it wasn't showing because she did eat. This is the first day that she didn't eat, and uh, that's what made me look at her, and I was like, oh my gosh, something's not right. So, everybody else is fine. I put Kappa in her own separate space because I don't trust putting her in with the girls, well, especially now that Gamma seems to be sick, but... Um, I put her in her own separate space. She's going to be living in a bowl, a uh, fish bowl, because um, I don't have any other tanks right now. So, um, and I really would like to do the same thing with Gamma since Gamma is sick, but I don't have anywhere else that she can go. So, I'm, I'm a little bit stressed out. <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed out. So anyway, it is, sorry, I'm squinting because my glasses are on my head and I'm trying to look at the clock. It's almost 11.30 p.m. here. <sighs> got my stuff together. I got calcium and food in the snail tank. I've got aquarium salt and meds in the fish tanks. Um, I fed them tonight. Tomorrow I will put in their uh, time release feeders. Um, ow. I have, guys, I have a, like a cyst 
in my armpit. I've had it there for years, but usually uh, once a year, um, sometimes longer, like in between, but this happened last summer as well. It gets really inflamed. It um, gets like big and painful and you know right now it's doing that it's been for the last several days and it hurts so so bad right now I've got paper towel that I ran under hot water and I put it under my armpit for some relief it hurts so so bad it's hard to sleep I try not to move my arm much like I just kind of try and leave it like down but even right now it hurts. It hurts so bad. I'm, one day I'm just going to have to go to the doctor and have them remove it. When it's not inflamed like this, it doesn't bother me at all. But when it does get inflamed, it's killer. It makes me almost feel sick. It hurts so bad. But yeah, that was a little tangent because I just kind of, eh, when I moved. Um, but yeah, I'm really not impressed with the fact that now Gamma decided to be sick when I'm leaving for a week and a half tomorrow morning. So hopefully my stepdaughter will be willing to check in on them every day and if she has died to remove her. I don't want to euthanize her just yet um, because I want to see if she'll get better first. Um, I mean I could euthanize her but I just euthanized Theta. So I really don't want to have to euthanize her if I don't need to. But I do suspect that she's not going to make it through. That I'm going to come back a week and a half later and she's not going to be there. So I guess that's what you do. That's part of being a fish mom, right? So yeah, that's about it. So my rabbits are with their sitter. Um, my dog, my one dog is with her, her sitter. Um, the cats have like a huge pot of food and, you know, a huge, um, water dispenser that, uh, will last the whole time we're gone. Um, my, again, my stepdaughter will be here, um, but she's going to be coming and going and working and things like that, hoping that she'll just come in once in a while and, you know, scoop the cat litter box and check in on the fish. So, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. So anyway, that's enough of my blathering. Um, I am going to pretty much call it a night now and go to bed because in the morning we will be on the road. It's like a 16 hour drive we're doing half of it tomorrow and half of it on Friday so and I will show you snippets of our road trip and of our trip itself so keep a watch out for that good night guys